Hello, everybody. Welcome back. This is Tinker77, and we're back on the QTech world, and we're going to get started right away. What we're doing today is we're going to be working more on getting those processors. Last time, we worked on getting the pink slime balls made, which was used in the process to make the processor bindings, okay? So now if we go look at a processor, what else do we need? So we're going to pick a processor, and you can see, like, for instance, this processor, it, we iron and redstone. These are resources we have. We now have processor binding. We really need to get silicon. So silicon is a couple steps we have to do. We have to basically use this in a dissolution chamber to make that. We have to then, to make these, we have to make use this in a crafter, which we can do pretty quick, a, a bowl and the diamond saw. And this we have to use in an alloy smelter to make that. So we really need to work on, I think, this first. So this is another crafting recipe that we're gonna use with the crafter. So let's get started with this right away. I'm gonna put in a line here. We can see we have power. So let's move on with that as a basic power circuit. Just like that. And we I made up a few of these alloy smelters. So let's grab one of those. Okay, we're gonna put that on down here. That'll do the work. On the back of that, we need to have an importer because we're gonna be bringing in items <clears throat> that it makes. Let's put that back down here. This is gonna get kind of weird jumping around. We need a crafter and we need the interface now. <clears throat> Excuse me, it's a little bit early in the morning. Let's get a crafting grid. And we're gonna need this in a minute. And we're gonna need the interface. And we'll need an external storage, right? Yes. Okay, so the crafter goes right here. We're gonna to to get the configurator to move it, or no, the wrench to move it. So it's facing downwards, means it's gonna take the items that it receives and put them into the device. <clears throat> Excuse me, man, my voice is starting to get rough already. It's early in the morning, guys. I'm trying to do this so that I can get it out to you pretty quick. Okay, we have the interface, and I'm gonna go around here. We can put this back in a minute. Looks like we have a visitor. And we're gonna put on the back of that an external storage. We're gonna set this to extract only, and we're going to put a crafter in here. Okay, so this is the basic setup for this. Works really well. So now let's go and get another pattern here and make this up. We are going to make the uh, silicon bowl. That's the pattern for that. And we need a pattern to put that in. So I'll grab one of these, put it here and code it. There we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so we have, this is the alloy smelter. We know that that's what we want it to make. That's fantastic. Now we have to tell it up here what we want. So we're gonna say the bowl. Now, how many are made per thing? It makes one for every of those. I want to have, let's say, eight at a time at any one point. So we're going to put this in here. It's ready to go. And we're going to click on that. And I'm going to say I want eight. And I'm going to hit set. And it's immediately going to start to talk, tell the crafter to make what it needs here. And it's added enough to make what we need. And that's it, guys. That's the first part of that. So now we have the silicon bowl. And I should put a sign for these. Let's grab our signs. I don't have a lot of signs, but that's okay. Silicon bowl. There we go. And over here, this is pink slime ball, right? Pink slime, just called pink slime. Okay, we'll do that. Pink slime. And we'll have to get more uh, signs for this. But we're going to move on right now. Okay, so what we have next? Well, we want to make from that, we have the bowls being made. And you can see we have now five of those. Those are slowly working up. We want to use those in a recipe to make over here, make silicon uh, wafers, right? So to make silicon wafer, it's just this. It's a crafting, no special tool is needed. It's diamond saw and the bowl, so we'll hit that. And we'll get another pattern. Put that there, and there's our pattern. And this we can use in these devices here. This one's already filled up. This one is almost filled up. We're gonna say we're gonna make that. And I would like to have 64 of these wafers uh, in at any time. So let's get an example one. There it is. And. Okay, they should be matching up as far as one to one ratio. There's silicon bolt. There's this. So we want this. And I want to have. Oop, wow, it's crafting up. I want to have 64. And so it's making those as it goes. Okay, guys. 
which should be working pretty fine. Surprised it's not making more. Maybe I had it stored in there, I don't know. But it should be working just by doing that. Unless the diamond saw ran out. Let's go look at the diamond saw. And it's got plenty of charges left. So that should be okay. So this should be making a bunch of that. And it isn't. I don't know why. Let's look at our crafting monitor. Nothing is being crafted. Except for that, those things. Did this finish already? And we have our eight there. So that's working correctly. Um, perhaps this is not, doesn't know that we need to make more. So let's tell it to make more of those. Now we don't really care. It'll do it automatically. We're okay. We're okay, guys. We've got this. Let's move on. So we have the silicon wafers. And we're trying to make silicon. This stuff right here. And for that, we need lava and a dissolution chamber. Now, we have lava in our fluid grid already. We have 35 buckets. We've got plenty. So we need a dissolution chamber, and I don't have another one of those. And this is always a pain. This is always a pain, but we'll see if we can get through this pretty quick now. So if I look at what we have here, we're missing some things. We're missing the diamond gear. That's easy. We are missing the plastic. We just do that. Remember, we have plastic already being automated, so that's working pretty well. We need some buckets. There they are. And we're already got the pity machine frame, and this thing's always a pain. We need four more of these plastic things, so let's do that. We have plastic being automated, so that's easy. We need compressed iron ingots. Do we have any of those yet? No. Compressed iron. I thought we had a thing that said making... We have refined iron. We don't have compressed iron. So for the compressed iron, what does that take again? Probably in the compressor and refined iron in a compressor. So let's go get some of that refined iron. And we need a compressor. I think I have the compressor down here. <clears throat> that we do. Here it is. We'll put that in there. That should start working. And then we got to do this. I got to automate this pity machine frame, I tell you. Do I have the uh, thing over here? No, I don't. Okay, so let's do the pity machine frame. Let's uh, actually bookmark that. Purple is gold and this in an alloy smelter. Gold and Tesla tight or red and blue. I'm going to go with the Tesla tight version. So let's get some gold and Tesla tight and 16 Tesla tight. I don't care where it goes. I can just put it in here and it'll, it'll actually work on that and get that made for us. That's good. How are we doing on our compressed iron? Got our two compressed irons. So now really that's all that's left is getting the middle part of that, which is this. Control circuit. We have a red one. We need to get the blue one. And the blue one's kind of weird. This is the one where you got to get these atomic alloys. Oh, we got to get the reinforced alloy. Oh, it must be dark. I can hear them drinking their potions. Let's go down and sleep. And you know, when I sleep, what do I do? I drink some coffee. Okay, we got to get some coffee here. Hmm. Excellent. There we go. And they're now they're drinking potions again to not be invisible. I don't know. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're gonna get back to this. So we got to make some reinforced alloys, and it should be just the diamond and that. I thought we would have had these already, but we don't. So let's get some diamonds. We're rolling low on diamonds, and. We have a bunch of these already. I had the purple already too. Oh, that's why I just made those. Never mind. So let's go on down to our metallurgic infuser. We already have two of those. That's excellent. That means that we should be able to make the red circuit. This is the ultimate, the elite circuit we should be able to make. Good. So now we just need to make the ultimate one. And the ultimate one takes those two things on the side, which are two of these. We just have to make two of those again. And refined obsidian dust. So we gotta make two of these anyway. Um, how do you make the I wanna look at this diamond thing. I think there's a way to get more of it out. Uh I don't remember. Let's get a crusher. I'm gonna put that down. Two of those. 
There they go. And I remember that I did make those huh? so those are quiet. So we're making huh? these, which is two of those and two of those. So we can put this in here. Huh? Grab that, start it up at least. That thing is not quiet, uh -huh. as you can hear. So we're going to make those, and we need to refine obsidian, I believe. And we have this obsidian dust. We're trying to make... Make sure if I'm correct on this. We're trying to make, basically, refined obsidian dust. Which is more diamonds and obsidian dust. And to make obsidian dust... Huh? Is in an enrichment chamber is... What is it? It's just obsidian. Okay, we can do that. Let's take some obsidian. There are those two pieces. Let's do... Oh, I don't need that many. It's just... Oh, it's in the uh, enrichment chamber. Yes. My enrichment chamber is out here with my... Excuse me. Is out here with this setup. So let's just take it over here. Put it in there. And it should be coming in this machine here, I would think. Or this one. Doesn't do anything. We don't care. But there, it's done. That was easy. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh-huh. That was easy. Two more diamonds. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Wow. I'm going to have to get rid of those guys. They're kind of noisy. So we put that uh -huh. in here. Dust and that. We'll make the refined one. We need one more dust there. Automating these circuits will also probably be on the list of things we need to do here soon. Uh -huh. But there we have those. One more of those. And then we can put them together and make the other circuit. And then we have the pity machine frame. And then we have the dissolution chamber. Wow. Rabbit hole. Okay, so we got those and those. And now we're almost done. I'm going to take another drink of coffee because it's getting cold. Who am I kidding? Mine's like lava. It's so hot. There's one of those. We need another one of these, and we should have two. Huh? So it's been a lot of fun here with Tinker's uh, stuff. We've been doing a lot of things with on the streams. We've uh -huh. had some events. We've done some Among Us in Minecraft, which has been a lot of fun. And also, I've been playing a little bit of Roblox, uh -huh. which has been fun. So, you know, there's been a lot of various things. Stay tuned. Get on my Discord. See what you'd uh -huh. like there. And hopefully, uh, you'll uh, join us and have some fun. Make the machine frame. There it is. Uh -huh. Now we make the dissolution chamber. And there that is. Okay, so put all this stuff back that we don't need. We're going to put this device over here. So there we are. Lost that block. And again, we're going to need a basic circuit for power. We're going to need an importer to bring in the items from the dissolution chamber. So we'll need that. We'll need a crafter. And a crafting upgrade. We'll need an interface. We need to have an external storage. Um, a wrench, probably. Yep. Okay, so there we go. Put that down there. Dissolution chamber goes right here. Then back here, we need to have a an importer. I have one on me. There it is. We have our crafter. There it is. And it's pointing the right direction, so we don't need the wrench. Grab the, our interface. We have one of those. And then we need to get an external storage, plug it on the back. And you know what? I'm going to put the cables in like I have been, even though it's not technically necessary. It just, I think it looks better. And I forgot the one over here. Let's do that. Right. Okay. Put that back and that back. This needs the crafting upgrade. Okay. So the stack is done. We need to get a pattern for that. So we're making silicon. We're going to go right here and put that in. And now we need a pattern. We were running low on patterns. Why is it not making patterns? We have to go check that out. But here's the pattern. And I want to have... How many do I want to have of silicon on at all times? I want to have... Let's say 32 silicon. That's what we want to have. So I go in here. Right click. I'm going to say 32 set. And it should be making that up for me. Should be. It should be bringing in the lava. And it should be bringing in the silicon stuff. Now, why isn't it? I'm not sure yet. Oh, this is extract only, right? Yes. Uh 
Now this should be working just like these are working. Except for the importer. I think I had to do something special with the importer, didn't I? On types of fluids, maybe? No. So why is this not working? Uh, not doing special. This is this pink slime. It takes different it takes glass panes and pink slime buckets. So this is a fluid based thing. So what am I doing wrong here? Nothing on fluids, nothing on external storage. Import. Hmm. Now I'm confused. Why is this not working? We have the buckets of lava. That's good. We've got essence coming in and that's good. So why would this fluid output, fluid input, there's input. The solution chamber looks right. The crafter's pointing downward and we say we're making silicon wafer and lava makes silicon and that should work. It says we have three. We're calling for this. We've got our pattern. This should be working, guys. I'm not sure what's going on. Extracting only. And this one is an importer. I don't think I need to do anything else for this. Because we don't put anything on our importer on this side. And telling what it is. It just worked every time. Oh, boy. I guess we got to do some debugging here. Let's look at our crafting monitor. Don't see anything there. Crafting manager, those are all the things that we can make. Crusher. Well, let me grab all the silicon out and see if it kickstarts it. Maybe that's part of the process. So there we go. I'll grab that too. Okay, well, if I hit craft, missing the diamond saw. How about that. Missing diamond saw it was missing over there. Did they bring it in here? Hmm. I don't know why the diamond saw would be missing. And it says it crafted it. That's so weird. Because I don't think it did anything. Craft. Start. Okay, so it thinks it needs to get Diamond Saw to do this silicon wafers. Because it's got this is available to make this. So it's missing the Diamond Saw. Uh, maybe it is this pattern for here. Let me go take this out. This pattern for the Diamond Saw. Okay. It might be sitting there for thinking that it needs to make this. But it's using exact. And maybe it doesn't have to be exact. Wish there was some sort of like thing that said, okay, it's a special type, maybe. Doesn't have to be exact. It can be just the regular diamond saw. Perhaps that's what's going on. So let's put this back here. And it's not making it yet. That's interesting. Um, we may have to actually do that one by hand. It's not hard. And we have the other device making the, the items that we need. Let's get this out of here. How do you get it out? There it goes. So maybe we can't automate this process. So if I make... It's getting dark. It is dark. Uh-oh. Gotta sleep. Mostly because I want some coffee. There we go. Hmm. And they're taking their potion to... Man, they're boozing it up over here. Right. So let's make some silicon. Which we're trying to make the wafers, which are the bowls. With a diamond saw. So let's take... Uh, all of those there and the diamond saw. And let's just make it all. Because that's all we really use for it, so... And then let's throw that into here. And this thing should be making... It says, okay, I found it. So that is working... And this thing's going to make up more of the bowls. So that's good. So now it looks like it's working. So that recipe we had for the uh, silicon doesn't work. But now, guys, we have that. That is excellent. 
So we are going to, how much time do I have left? I got 20 minutes of time recorded. We're going to make up some patterns now for processors. I'm not going to cook the processors, but we're going to make the patterns for them because I have, I got two spots left here. So we'll do two. We'll do the iron and the gold one. So let's go back to the processors. There's the iron one. And you can see it takes all of those. We're going to put that here and we need a pattern. Actually, I should check out why I didn't have pattern. I'm going to re-encode this one. There it is. That's one of those. And so if we go back over here, we're saying make the both processors and craft one, start, start. And there's the one. And I want to have at all times, I want to have 16 of those set. And it should start making those right away because it's just a regular recipe, right? So why isn't it making it? We may have an issue here with this. That's the one I just put in. Why would it not make that? Because this is in a crafting table. It should be just a regular thing. It should grab everything it needs. So it's got stuff being made. This is very interesting. It's like it's it's stopped. Like it doesn't know to do what it needs to do to make this. And even these here, the redstone solar panels, it should be having, I mean, we've got all the other resources. We don't have patterns, but that's fine. We can do that, but why won't we have patterns? That's another thing too. Let's check out the patterns because I should have four of those at all times. I hit craft, start, We're missing redstone. Oh no. Redstone. So we were we are out of redstone, guys. Wow, I, it's hard to believe that we would have used up all the redstone already. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Um. Uh huh. Wow. Oh, we've got a big issue here because we do not have any redstone at all. That is not good. Huh? I would have thought we would have had some. Maybe I thought maybe something was like not hooked up correctly. Huh? But it looks like everything is. Do we have any redstone in the chest? Huh? Oh, no. Huh? Anything here? No. No. I think, guys, I'm going to have to go and use the digital miner off camera. And get some more redstone and other resources. You know, I, I did all this setup. I'll just run this thing off camera to get a whole bunch more resources. That's that's not good. Okay, so we've come to a bottleneck here of resources. Okay, so we'll have, just have to wait for a little bit to get other things. I think with more redstone, these things will work. Because this pattern here, redstone solar panel, takes hardened solar panel and one redstone solar core. And the redstone sort of the core there takes a whole bunch of things which we're still working on getting. Wow. Okay. Well, guys, that's all I got time for today. Like I said, I will do that off camera probably in the next day or two and get another video out after I have redstone again. So, wow. Awesome. Hey guys, if you like this video, please click that like button. If you have any comments, put them down in the comment section. And if you'd like to be notified of the videos I produce, please subscribe to this channel and don't forget to hit the little bell icon so you get all the notifications. Okay. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.